Lost me too, <laughs> and I almost lost the mail in that wind. Oh, that's it. I'm restricting all deliveries until this windstorm dies down. Hi, honey, chocolate for all our brave postal bees. Oh, <laughs> chocolate. We'll just stay cozy in here. I've heard it's going to get worse. A person would have to be really misguided to go out in weather like that. <gasps> Blueberry! Anything in the mail for me? Has it arrived? Is it here? Where is it? Sorry, Blueberry. All postal service is suspended due to the windstorm. The roads are iced over due to the frost, so no mail truck deliveries either. Oh. Here. What were you expecting, Blueberry? Oh, the next segment of the latest Patty Persimmon mystery. The case of the missing mangoes? <laughs> that was last month. This one is called Tennis Caper, anyone? Someone is cutting holes in the Toadstool Tennis Club's rackets and sabotaging the tennis tournament. I simply have to find out who's doing it and why they're doing it. It's outrageous! <laughs> Well, that's an intriguing riddle, <laughs> but I'm afraid you'll have to wait to find out who done it. Your package must be stuck at the branch in Barry Bitty Dale. Oh, I can't stand it. Refill? <sighs> no, thank you, Orange. I better get home before this wind gets worse. Well, be careful out there. I will. Blueberry is usually a very patient, even-tempered person. But if there is anything she is not patient about, it's getting to the bottom of a mystery. <laughs> Bosley Bookworm, are you all right? Are you... Where are you? Caught in some sort of net. Net? Uh, um, Blueberry? <gasps> There. The door, the wind blew. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. I think I've wrecked your racket. Oh, don't worry. This is a really old tennis racket. I was going to throw it away, but I kept thinking I might find something useful to do with it. Oh, if only it could somehow get me to Berry Bitty Dale. My Patty Persimmon is stuck there at the main post office. The butterfly bus is grounded and, and, and... Oh, that racket won't help you. What you need are some ice skates. I heard the roads were frozen over. I don't have any ice skates, but maybe I could make some. Oh, but even if those work, Berry Bitty Dale is a long way to ice skate. Hmm. What is it, Custard? <gasps> that looked like... Uh, no, it couldn't 
wouldn't have been. Could it? Nah. <laughs> are amazing! you might be good at until you try. Well, now that everyone in Berry Betty City has a set of icy skites, I can get back to my mystery novel. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. About to see who's sabotaging the tennis tournament. I wonder if it's the ball boy. Oh! Oh, I lost my place. Hello? Blueberry's Bookshop. Blueberry Muffin speaking. Miss Muffin? This is Ladybug Lois of Berry Bitty Dale Berry Sporty Sports Store. My, my, has it ever been a mystery tracking you down. At least one mystery was solved. I finally mentioned to our postmaster that I saw you fly by on those incredibly wonderful magical skate boots of yours. My skates? Er, uh, icy skates? <sighs> well, how can I help you, Lois? Well, I have an idea that you just might find. Very interesting. I'm interested already. Is it a book order? An entirely different type of order altogether. The sporting goods store and Berry Bitty Dale wants to manufacture and sell my icy skites. Well, that's wonderful, isn't it? But that's not all. They want me to design a matching outfit to go with the icy skites. Well, that's wonderful too, isn't it? But that's not all. They want me to make a commercial for their store website with a jingle and a dance. Is all that wonderful? It, uh, I don't know. I can write a commercial, but 
Design clothes? Make a video? Write music? I don't know if I'm good at those things. Well, you won't know if you're good at those things unless you try. And you could always ask for help. That's true. I just... I think it would be so much fun. Then what's to stop you? I see Skite on. And so, Blueberry decided that she'd give it a try. I want some icy skites. Can you make me some? Yeah, I want them. I want them. Yeah, Blueberry, did you make the commercial, Blueberry? <laughs> if you will all please settle down, we'll find out. So, Blueberry asked her friends for help. She asked Raspberry for advice on fashion design because Raspberry was an expert. I like the colors, but I was thinking something more like this. Hmm. Well, I think for your Icy Skite outfit, this might be better. Well, thank you, Raspberry. I'll think it over. It was a very lovely dance you made up. So, you're all set then? Well, I'm gonna think about it. I might want to do something a little, um, sportier? Huh. Well, I think what they're probably looking for is a more classic figure skating ballet dance. Mm, you may be right. I'll think it over. But all your tips about moving to the music and planning the moves ahead of time really helped. What about this? Very glamorous, Lemon. Or did you like my spiky design better? I like them both. I know, they're both my favorite, too. Oh, I forgot about Plum's choreography. She said you're going with the classic ballet theme? I am? So maybe we should do a ballet bun. Do you mind if I think this all over? I love all your ideas, but I may want to go in a different direction. I bet you'll go with the ballet bun! Or maybe the spikes? I'll let you know. But thank you so much for all your help, Lemon. I never would have known how to get my hair into any style without your guidance. Ah! Anything there you like? Oh, girls, that was a beautiful melody. Raspberry told us you're going with a classic ballet theme. Well, no. I actually hadn't decided yet what I'm going with for my commercial. Oh, so are you still working it out? Well... Oh, I forgot my lyric pages. Be right back. Are you worried about something, Blueberry? Oh, Strawberry. Everyone helped show me how to do some of the things they're really good at. And they all have lots of ideas for me. But I'm kind of having fun thinking up some ideas on my own. Then you should. <laughs> Everyone will understand. Are you sure? You don't think they'll mind if I go my own direction? Of course they won't mind. And so I designed this very big, fabulously flowing gown for her commercial, and she isn't going to use it. Well, I choreographed a very graceful ice and butterfly dance that she isn't using either. But you are the dance expert, Plum, and you, Raspberry, are the fashion expert. It just doesn't make sense that she wouldn't be using your ideas. She should stick to what she does best, writing. What if her commercial is an embarrassment? We wouldn't want that to happen to her. What if Berry Bitty Dale Sporty Sports Store doesn't like the commercial, and then they wouldn't want her icy skates, and then... <coughs> oh, uh, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. Hello. Have you been helping Blueberry with her commercial? Well, she did ask for help, or advice, or, you know, but... It doesn't seem like she needs our help after all. It seems like she's gonna do the whole thing by herself, with her own ideas. But, uh, that's okay, right? I mean, just because you're all good at something doesn't mean Blueberry can't be good at it, too. Well, it is her commercial. <laughs> it's nice that she asked for help, and nice that we helped her, but that doesn't mean she has to do what we all think. No. That's true. Well, I hope it turns out okay. However it turns out, I think we should give her our support. 
Okay, and action. Footage. This is good. Keep going. Here's my jingle. I know it's not exactly what you girls had in mind, but I think it goes better with the action sports feel of the commercial. Um, what tune do we play this to? Well, I don't know how to write notes like Cherry. I can only hum what I had in mind. That's okay. Why don't you hum the melody and I'll write down the notes? <laughs> That'll work. Good idea, Cherry. Okay, that's it. That's great. Just do your thing and smile. Big smiles, please, everyone. This is great. Perfect. Oh, I'm just so worried for her. Huh? I said, I'm worried for her. Oh, I know. She's never done fashions and all the rest. I heard she didn't even... I heard she didn't even use Cherry's lyrics for the jingle. And Cherry's a super pop star. Can you believe it? What do we say when we've seen it? What if I can't fake a smile? What if I hurt her feelings? Oh, poor Blueberry. Hopefully there'll be enough time to redo the commercial before, you know, it gets out there. We'll help her redo it. Evening, girls. Oh, I can't wait to see the commercial. I'm in it. Can you believe it, girls? J.D. Bug from the post office is gonna be a star. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming to see a pre-screening of my Icy Skites commercial. I hope you like it. I got a lot of help from my friends on this, so I wanted to tell you all how grateful I am. My commercial wouldn't have been possible without my friend's expert know-how. But she didn't use her ideas. Shh. Okay. Well, here goes. Barrack and Bruce? Could you please start the film? Wanna get from here to there? The road is icy, but we don't care. Cause we've got a real from icy sights to wear. Icy sights give us speed and all the things we need. Before you know it, you'll be icy. has icy skates now! Oh, it's me! Did you see me? Did you see that great hairstyle? She did it! She really pulled it off! Did you see that? Her dance was great! It went much better with the overall commercial than a ballet would have. She's really multi-talented. I knew it would be great. So did I. So, do you think you might design more fabulous fashions, Blueberry? And you are really good at choreography. And the jingle was great. I think you'll do some more songwriting next? You know what I'm gonna do next? I'm going to go home and find out who is trying to sabotage the tennis tournament in my Patty Persimmon mystery once and for all. <laughs> There's yours. Now, now, don't crowd. There's plenty for everyone. Blueberry, they're selling like hotcakes. The hottest item I've had since blue in the dark croquet balls. That's 
fantastic! I'm so glad the commercial worked out. Is this the book we're reading for the next book club? Mm-hmm. How come it doesn't have a cover? Gallopin' Gooseberries! The Long Winter Mystery by... Blueberry Muffin? Really? You wrote a whole mystery book? It's a work in progress. I was so disappointed that I guessed the culprit so early on in my Petty Persimmon mystery, it was the ball boy all along, that I thought I could write a better mystery than this. So, I was wondering if you could do me a favor and read it and help me make improvements? You want us to help you with writing? But... But, but you're the best, Blueberry. I mean, you're the expert. But you're all good writers, too. And readers. So your opinions would be very valuable to me. Oh, of course we'll tell you what we think. Oh, look! You dedicated your book to us, Blueberry. Thank you, Blueberry! <laughs> Did you really write a mystery, Blueberry? I did, but it's a little scary, so you'll have to read it when you're older. Do you think I could write a mystery, Blueberry? The only way to find out is to try. Does everyone have everything they need? Why, yes we do, Strawberry. Thanks for asking. Yes, we do. <laughs> then dig in. What was that? Oh, is it the Fairy King marching band practice season already? No, that's not for another month. What? Let's go find oh, out. Yeah, 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 we gotta see what this is. That is very exciting. What's going on? We want to <laughs> announce. <laughs> We, we want to oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, no, I beg you. No, 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 no. After you. No, after you. No, 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 you first. No, 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 no. I insist. It's one ladybug Coming argument you. coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we say it together? What a wonderful idea, Ladybug. We're starting a new club. And we want you to join. Club? Run by Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? But they're always arguing. How much fun could that club be? Unless it's a debate club. Behold! Our, Our Good, Good Citizens, Citizens Club! See? We even have membership pins. A Good Citizens Club? Really? They do seem to be getting along. Maybe they've turned over a new leaf. Make it a whole tree. Pardon me, but what exactly does a good citizens club do? What exactly is a citizen? A member of the community. So a good citizen is... A kind and helpful member of the community. Uh, yeah! <laughs> and good citizens do... Good citizens eat things. Like bringing soup to sick fairy kids? Donating old clothes to the needy? Keeping very bitty city clean? Uh, sure. <laughs> and if you do something really good, Citizen Z, you get membership pins. See? Ooh, a membership pin. And we even have a motto. Oh, what is it? Happy to serve others. Oh, oh wow, that's, that's just really great. great. I like that. <laughs> so, what's next? Do we do helpful things for the community and its citizens? You got it. Just do as many of those things as you can before our first meeting tomorrow evening at the Good Citizens Clubhouse. And then we can talk about uh, those uh, good citizens -y things that we all did. And think up some new ones, too? Definitely. Sure thing. Why not? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait! Last minute special delivery! Super duper really important highly special good citizens club first meeting reminders! Sorry, my fault. No, 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 my fault. Not mine. Please make sure you deliver all of them before tomorrow. I was 
thinking I might bring some snacks or something to the meeting tonight. Do you have any crackers? Hi, Plum. Sure, I'll get them. Wow, Orange. Pretty. Oh, isn't it? My Good Citizens Club membership pin. It came in the mail. Where's yours? Um, my mail hasn't come yet. <laughs> hey, Plum, what do you think? I created a whole new fashion statement to go along with my Good Citizens Club membership pin. Wow, that's a very creative idea, Raspberry. I love it. Nice outfit, Raspberry. Oh, wow. Oh, you look great. Oh, yes, fantastic. I have to go check my mailbox. I can't wait to see my pin. <gasps> I didn't get one. Why didn't I get one? How am I supposed to go to the meeting tonight without a membership pin? I don't understand. Well, I'll just have to ask the ladybugs what happened. She went to do a good citizen thing by herself. Well, I'm sure she'd like to join us. It's way more fun to work together. Let's leave her a note on the door. We'll tell her that we're over at the Berry Grove helping the Berrykins dig a new path for a stream so that it will go around the grove instead of right through it. Very good idea. Over here! No, over here! It'll be way better oh, good. here! You're here! It'll be way better here! No! Here. <clears throat> no, here. Excuse me. Oh, Plum. We were having a um discussion about where to put the banner. Where, where would you put it? it? Uh, right in the middle? Excuse me, but the other girls have Good Citizens Club membership pins. And I'm just wondering what I need to do to get mine. Is there's some sort of test or something I have to pass to show I can serve others? Uh, Plum, would you mind giving us some privacy for a moment so we can have a, um, a, um, hmm, club leaders conference? Of course. I'll be just right outside ready for my test. You forgot to send her pin. Did not. Must have been you. You're always forgetting something. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? Uh, yeah, huh? Are you ready with my test? What are we going to do? We can't lose her as a member of our club. I guess we'd better give her a test like she wants. Oh, right. But we don't have a good citizens club test to give. Well, she said she wants a test on serving others. Oh, Plum! Ready to show I can be a good citizen. Do you want to be in the Good Citizens Club? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. I still can't hear you. Yes. You must take the test of good citizenness. Whatever it is, I'll do my very best. Yes, yes, yes. So. Your first test will be to paint the clubhouse inside and out so it looks nice before the first meeting of the Good Citizens Club. Inside and out? <sighs> uh, is that too hard? Because instead you could... Absolutely not too hard for me. I am happy to do my best to make the Good Citizens Club look fabulous for everyone. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Start on that side. You're blocking my tan over there. I don't know. I think that blue clashes with my eyes. Can you do a lighter shade? What's that? Here, give me the paintbrush. More like it. That looks like a rabbit. It looks like a flower. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. <sighs> Finished. Exactly the way we wanted it. Are you 
sure you think it's not good? Should you do it over? No, no, it looks terrific, really. Let's wait to get the other member's opinion before we go changing anything. So is that it? Do I get my pin now? Well, uh, you finished the first test. Congratulations! First test? How many are there? Uh, uh, three. Yeah, three skirts. Yeah, we always use three. Uh huh, three. Oh. <sighs> I wonder where Plum is. Yeah, she's missing all the mud. I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Just what exactly does this have to do with being a good citizen? Well, all that painting made me hungry. And all that painting made me thirsty. And obviously, we need snacks and drinks for tonight's meeting, right? Yes. I actually have some crackers I was going to bring. That's it. We'll need a lot more than just crackers. And drinks, too. And we need to sample the snacks and drinks first, of course. But what does snack tasting have to do with good citizenship? It's, um, making sure it's good. For the citizens, of course. Are you sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Happy, Happy to, to serve, serve others! I can make peanut butter and glimmerberry sandwich surprises. Blueberry and lemon will like those. And kiwi smoothies. Hmm. Dear Plum, when you're finished, we are over at the berry grove helping the berrykins dig a new path for a stream. Oh no! The other girls are already doing good deeds for the community. I'm so behind. I've got to hurry. <laughs> keeping her busy all day. I know. Let's leave her another note. Sorry we missed you at the Fairy Grove. I'm sure you've been very busy being a good citizen. See you at the meeting. Love, us. Ew! You call this a snack? How about this one? Oh. <laughs> But the snacks aren't just for you. I thought this was about the other club members, too. Uh, oh. Well, okay. These'll do. Time to move on to test number three. Number three? You're only one test away from your membership pin. Well, okay. But this is the last one. Just give us a sec to have another club leaders conference. <laughs> in the community garden is a great project for the Good Citizens Club. And I have all the right things to do it with. And I have just the right design for it, too. This is gonna be great. Plum will love it, too. She loves planting flowers. I wish I knew what she was doing all day. It's almost time for the club meeting. She definitely wouldn't miss the first meeting. She came by this morning and picked up some crackers for all of us. That's so nice of her. Let's go by and pick her up. Well, did you decide yet? What's my final test? Uh, this place could use a little color, but I already painted it. Pink, like you wanted. What she means is color and fragrance. So, cut some flowers from the community garden to decorate the clubhouse with. How about I gather some flowers from the forest? But the prettiest flowers are in the community garden. You aren't supposed to pick flowers from the community garden. Those flowers are for everyone to enjoy in the garden, not for us to take home for ourselves. 
I'll pick some flowers from the meadow. My favorite ones are in the community garden. But community service isn't about what your favorites are. Don't you understand? If everyone picked those flowers for themselves, soon there wouldn't be any left. And no one in Berry Bitty City would be able to enjoy them anymore. Uh, we could enjoy them. We thought you wanted to serve others. Others like us? We thought you wanted to be a good citizen like everyone else in the club. <laughs> well, are you going to pick those flowers? No. Saying no is simply unheard of in the Good Citizens Club. Then I guess I can't be in your club. <laughs> I can't be in our club? But, but you, you have to be! I'm sure you've been busy being a good citizen. You. Good to see you again. Where have you been all day, fellow good citizen? You've been doing good citizenly things. <laughs> Gee, was it something I said? Something certainly not right. Plum? <laughs> What's wrong, Plum? Tell us. We're your friends. I'm not a good citizen. What? But Plum, you're one of the very, very best citizens I know. I... I didn't pass the test that you all passed, so I'm not in the club. Test? What test? I didn't take any test. I didn't take a test. Did you? Nope, not me. I don't think anyone did. What are you talking about, Plum? The ladybugs didn't give you tests? Then how come you all have membership pins and... I don't. Didn't yours come in the mail? I don't know what's going on, but I think it's time for us to have a good citizen word with the ladybugs. That one. No. That one. You call that a flower? Now that's a flower. <laughs> and like you would know. Are you saying I can't pick a flower? I am saying that you couldn't pick a flower to pick if the flower picked you. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Early for the meeting, are we? We're here to find out why you gave Plum a good citizen's test, and not any of us. Um, sorry. Uh, we can give you girls tests, too, if you want. <sighs> why would any of us have to take a test at all? Especially Plum. Plum is always a good citizen. You weren't going to cut the community flowers, were you? Um, well, yeah, because Plum wouldn't, so we have to. Plum wouldn't? No. It was her final test. But she said no. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh, excuse me. How come I never got a good Citizens Club membership pin, but everyone else did? We don't know why you never got it. We, um, mailed your pin out with the others. But, but what about the tests? We sort of, kind of got the idea from you. Me? Well, you seemed like you really wanted to take one, so... Because I thought all my friends had. You don't have a clue about what makes a good citizen, do you? <laughs> Why did you start this club anyway? Well, um, so we could be in a club. And be, you know, really popular. And be the leaders. Like the bosses of the club? No one's ever wanted us in a club before. I guess now we know why we're not very good citizens. Sadie Bug, oh, Katie Bug. I think your idea for a good citizens club is a great idea. You do? But you definitely didn't follow your own club's mission. Happy to serve others. You have to be the ones to serve others, not others serving you. We're so sorry for not acting like good citizens. And we promise we'll do better from now on. Strawberry, will you take over as club leader? I'm glad to see you've learned your lesson, but... Hmm. 
I know someone who has already proven she'd make a perfect club leader. Cutting the community flowers and taking them for yourselves isn't being a good citizen. But saying no to something you feel is not good for the community was a brave and very good citizen-y thing to do, Plum. Me? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> well, if that's the case, I call the first meeting of the Good Citizens Club to order. <gasps> the chair leader recognizes Blueberry. I move that we hold our first meeting as a camp out. Please? Now, I'd like us to vote on Strawberry's idea that the club do something good for the entire community by planting more flowers in the community garden. And after that, we can spruce up the town gazebo. And maybe sew warm scarves for the Americans for the winter. The stylish ones, of course. And we can, um, um, um... We eat snacks. <laughs> but if we, like, uh, make snacks <laughs> for the berry kids and the berry works. Yeah, because they all work so hard. I think that's a lot of good ideas for our club to do. I call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. The ayes have it. Aye. <laughs> and now I officially declare that at the close of our first meeting of the Good Citizens Club, we should sing a song. Everyone listen up, hear my proclamation about taking dreams seriously. Erase your fears. 